When you look at the massive smoke bloom on satellite coming from the bootleg fire in Oregon, you can actually see the shadow it's creating on the Earth. That's altering the temperature. All the particles can actually cool the surface by blocking the solar radiation from reaching the surface. Climate scientist Christine Wiedenmeyer says the smoke can cool or warm the air temperature, and a lot depends on the color of the smoke particles. Dark particles will absorb the light and the heat, right, and actually heat up the air around them, whereas the lighter particles, the white particles that you see, um, will actually scatter the light. And, and diffuse the light, and so they have competing effects. She says the smoke particles that have been hanging out in the Colorado sky lately are mostly made up of the lighter particles, so we may have had a slight cooling effect over the past few days. If there were darker smoke particles high in the sky, they can absorb the sunlight and warm the upper air, while blocking the sunlight from reaching the surface and cooling the air at the ground. That creates an inversion and limits the chances for rain. Um, um, also, you can change clouds um, by having all these particles um, instead of a clouds with big drops, you know, formed from just a few particles in the atmosphere. Now all, you have all these particles, so you might get clouds with little drops. Wiedenmeyer says that too can reduce the amount of precipitation in an area, which in some cases leads to furthering the drought conditions that caused the wildfire in the first place. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.